guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And it is time for one of my favorite types of videos, empties videos. I love collecting my empty skincare so that I can share everything and kind of give you like my final thoughts. You know, um, these are all products that have been featured on my channel one way or the other, but I really love doing an empties review because once you've finished an entire product, you really know what it can and can't do and if it's worth it or not. So that's why this is just really my favorite type of video. So if you guys are so ready to see what's in my really late winter empties basket, uh, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> First up is Laneige Cream Skin Quick Skin Pack. But what this is, is it's basically cotton pads soaked in Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. Like that's basically it. Um, I like I like that because I actually use my regular cream skin refiner. Um, I'll I'll soak five layer cotton and make like a uh, almost like a sheet mask with it because it's really good for calming down your skin when it's really inflamed or super super dry and dehydrated, uh, just irritated. I love that and that that kind of process of kind of creating like that little sheet mask effect. It really gets the product to sink in a little bit deeper. It holds it closer to the skin for a longer period of time so you just get a little bit more into your skin and so that tends to be really nice for treating the skin calming the skin really really nice and this is just the pre-packaged version of that it can be a little bit wasteful but honestly if you're going to use your cream skin that way anyways this could be a good way to do it because if you use regular cream skin refiner you will slam through your bottle a lot quicker so it's nice it's nice it's not necessary i used it up i enjoyed every every bit of it but um will i repurchase something like this probably not i did empty another bottle of the primera miracle seed essence yes and i nursed the heck out of this bottle i did not want this to empty i usually i'm like excited to empty my products because then i get to put them in videos but i was like don't empty don't empty i was like using just like little drops of it it's very expensive and that's a big reason why i didn't want it to empty because i don't want I probably will purchase this down the road, not right away, because I just have too much stuff. It's irresponsible for me right now to get more essences. I need to empty a few more, um, but I definitely will uh, purchase this again because I really, really love it. Where this really excels is for sensitive skin. It actually has a really nice calming effect on the skin. It's also very barrier supportive. So if you're somebody who's always kind of trying to keep their skin really strong, the lotus seed extract, that's the miracle seed, it's very barrier supportive and it really helps your skin's lipid layer, which is really important if you suffer with dehydration. Bingo, bingo. That's me right here, right? If you're like dehydrated, sensitive, you care about your moisture barrier, all of that, this could be a really special product for you because there's just something so healing and replenishing about this essence. Surprisingly, I only have one toner to show you, but it's a really giant bottle, the Keep Cool and Soothe uh, Bamboo Toner. You know, I'm a big fan of this, so no surprise that I worked through another bottle of that. I have a few uh, cleansing oil empties for you. The first one is the Claire's Gentle Black Fresh Cleansing Oil, completely fragrance-free, and this has a much lighter texture to it. I find this oil so pleasing because I actually don't really like the old Claire's cleansing oil and this really solves everything I don't like about it. So um, I really enjoyed this one. It's really honestly a very solid but basic cleansing oil and that's all I need my cleansing oil to be. You know what I mean? It gets in there, it breaks down makeup and sunscreen, it washes away cleanly, no film, it's not like hard to rinse away. It does the job, it does it without any bells and whistles, and I love that. It's great for sensitive skin as well. So this is definitely something I can see myself bringing back into my skincare routine because it was very reliable. Another cleansing oil empty is the Cioris Fresh Moment Cleansing Oil. I purchased this off of Yestel on a whim. Um, it was a brand new product from Cioris in like the fall of 2020, I think. And I really liked this as well. And I mean, pretty much the same thing I would say about the Claire's oils, what I'd say about the Cioris oil. It's effective. It's 
it's really not fancy, although it's got quite a nice, I always find Sior's products have very attractive packaging. It can kind of look nice in your, um, in your medicine cabinet, right? Um, that's where I keep my cleansers anyways, but generally speaking, it's a very no frills, get the job done kind of cleansing oil. It breaks down makeup and sunscreen really well, no filminess to this one. And the texture is um, pretty similar to most cleansing oils, kind of like a medium weight type of cleansing oil with really good spread. I actually have another bottle of this that I just opened up um, that's in my cleansing cabinet already. So this has already been replaced. I actually only have one serum empty for you. This is kind of the same as the toners. Like currently in my kind of skincare rotation, I have serums that are this full, this full, you know what I mean? Like um, they're close to being empty, but they just didn't quite make this video. But one serum did, and that's because I was super consistent with this serum basically the entire month of January. Like this is the only serum I was using morning and night. And that is um, the Beauty of Josan Glow Serum. Uh, this is the second bottle I think that I've emptied of this one. And I'm a really really a big fan of this product. It's a combination of propolis and niacinamide. And the reason why I was using this all through January is really kind of two, two reasons. Number one is the texture because it has a really nice moisturization element to it. It really does fill my skin with moisture, calm and soothe it, balance it out, but it's not usually heavy and it's not greasy. So it plays well with the other skincare products that I may want to use at any given time, right? So it's just a really like, easy type of serum, but moisturizing type of serum. But whenever anything turns into a pimple on my skin, I get a dark mark. I'm just very prone to hyperpigmentation. And so that's why I like this. Propolis calms and soothes the acne, the redness, the inflammation. It also has a healing benefit to it. So it seems to help the pimples move along a little bit faster, which is always great. But the niacinamide helps treat the hyperpigmentation. So instead of switching my serums to deal with the dark mark, but then maybe I still have some you know, pimples going on, this is kind of two in one for me. And that's why I was so consistent with this. And I just emptied this so fast. Like it was just insane how fast I emptied this. I probably applied a, a generous amount as well. I tend to be generous with my serums. So anyways, I'm a big fan. This is my second bottle down and I'd really recommend it if you are somebody who does go through the acne and hyperpigmentation cycle usually at the same time, right? Because this is a two in one, so you don't have to feel like you have to switch out different types of products for different situations when you're completely covered with this one. So I actually have quite a few different oil empties. So the first one is the Oliverier Squaw Squaw Oil. This is actually from the Oliverier Baby line. I am almost positive they don't make this anymore, um, which sucks because I actually really like this product. This is uh, like squalane and chia seed oil and I think there might be jojoba in here as well. I can't remember quite the blend, but it was a really nice light oil. Um, it had a really nice moisturization to it, but a really nice light, really pleasing, fluidy kind of feel on the skin. I'm not actually sure what's going on with Oliverier because I haven't been able to find their products in stock like anywhere. And I really hope they didn't go out of business. I'm just hoping like they're having like maybe supply issues or maybe they're repackaging their stuff or something. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure that that baby product is discontinued. <laughs> Speaking of Oliver here, um, I also emptied their 100% squalene uh, fluid oil. Big fan of this. They've actually, you know I've had this open for too long because they changed the packaging since this one. <laughs> And now I don't know they're changing it again, maybe and you know my main squeeze recently when it came to facial oil was the Tamanu oil from Tuso Wong Now you shouldn't be surprised that this is in the empties video because look at how tiny it is compared to the other oil products Now I would normally complain about a size of oil like this because this is 11 milliliter of product but I'm gonna be completely frank with you as somebody who has too much, yes, I, I said it, too much skincare. I actually appreciate sizes that I can conquer like this. This lasted me for, I want to say, six to seven weeks with twice a day usage. You don't need a lot. I usually just use about three drops mixed into like a moisturizer. Now compared to the other two oil products, it's a little bit more on the medium weight side, a little bit more moisture to this one. So it really did kind of protect and moisturize and sort of boost my moisture routines, but it also has a really gorgeous healing, um, like a very healing 
feeling, <laughs> healing feeling. Tomato oil is also great for acne. Um, it tends to help calm down pimples. It's great for hyperpigmentation, scars. It does tend to bring a glowiness to your skin. Also something I need in the dead of winter when I can be prone to dull skin, tomato oil can kind of help know oomph it up a little bit bring a little bit of the glow claire's fundamental nourishing eye butter another tube is empty yeah this is not the first tube i've been through quite a few different ones this is really kind of one of my top favorite eye creams it really is it's got peptides it's got anti-aging ingredients it's got brightening ingredients in it it's fragrance free love 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 the texture is huge for me too because you know, I have a really, I really find it quite elegant because it's not super thick. You know what I mean? It's, it's buttery, but it's not really thick and heavy. Like the name might make you think it's almost like whipped butter. You know, the difference between a dense, like block of butter and whipped butter, this is whipped butter. And, um, it's got a lightness to it, but a moisturization, it sinks into your skin really quickly, but it really does protect and moisturize just without the heaviness or the hard to spread kind of texture. I just think it's elegant all around. My eye area loves it. It does tend to keep things perked up and refreshed. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about it. I'm a big fan of it. I've talked about it a lot on my channel. And if you're ever on the fence about this one, you know, I think the texture is a real winner here. I think it's going to work for a lot of different skin types. Okay. I have so many moisturizers to talk about. It's crazy. Okay. So first up is from Oliverier. Again, hmm, I've been cleaning my stash out a little bit. Can you tell? Oliverier Cream All Barrier Relief. Let me tell you about this product because I actually did not use this on my face. I actually use this as a hand cream for a long time. This lived on my desk for a very long time. And um, the reason I never used it on my face is because this is a cream that is very moisturizing. There's lots of oils in this. So it's got a real nice rich nourishment to it, but it has no occlusivity at all. <laughs> and for my specific skin type, I need some occlusivity to my cream to stop dehydration, to stop water loss through my skin. I kind of need that protective barrier. And this just doesn't provide that. So even though it was really like moisturizing, it just wasn't protective. But for my hands, it was really nice and perfect and just the right amount of nourishment for my dry hands. And I love the pump bottle, particularly for being on my desk. I could just grab a pump whenever I needed it. So I really actually do like this product. I just didn't use it for its intended purpose. But if you do need like a cream, like to like leave on your desk or something, something not super huge, right? Something with a pump. This is pretty nice. I don't know, Oliverier, come back in stock. They've been tricky to get, but if you can get your hands on it, it's very nice. Another one from Cioris. This is the You Look So Young Night Cream. And again, this is not a stranger. This is the second tube of this. Yeah, I think this is the second tube of this. And um, I actually have another one of these in my backup stash as well. This is really one of my favorite moisturizers. I've been really impressed with this one. And this is very nice for um, kind of drier skin types or combination skin that likes a richer type of cream. This could be up your alley. Um, it's got quite a bit of shea butter and macadamia seed oil in it. So you can tell it's gonna have a nourishment to it. But this also has tamanu oil in it. I think it's 5% of tamanu oil. And you know how I said it's got that, that, that nourishment, that moisturization to it, but it also brightens your face up. And that's exactly what this moisturizer does. And I'm usually not a fan of moisturizers with bells and whistles. I just really need protection on my face. This does provide nourishment, moisture, and some nice occlusivity to it. But the Timanu oil really brings a brightness to your complexion. The very first time I used this, I was impressed because I woke up the next morning with skin that looked a lot fresh and brighter and I was like wow I mean the the name is so apt you look so young it's like I looked up and I was like wow you look so good really is probably what it should be called so yeah I'm a big fan of this one the only thing and part of the reason why it is in this empties box is you have to use this up like in six months after opening it like do not be the kind of person who hoards this because I can be like that sometimes like I'm like oh I like this so much I don't want to use it too much I want to save it don't do that with this product because I don't know what it is if it's the Timano oil or what but once it's open after like six to eight months the smell changes 
on this and you know that's not a good sign if the smell changes if colors or smells change on your products you yeah just probably stop using it <laughs> probably not good so that's the one thing i would tell you guys about this one it's a very manageable size to use up in that in that time it's 50 mil but don't drag your feet on using this one up. Definitely use it. Pyongyang Yul Edo Cream Blue Label. Yeah, this got a lot of love on my channel. Like towards the end of 2020, right? This was my main screen moisturizer. And it's actually pretty big too, but it's 120 mil of of products. So you know I love this because I went through this pretty quickly. Um, really, really enjoyed this. And it's actually really similar to one of my top favorite moisturizers, which is the Iliune uh, Ceramide um, Cream this is really similar but it's just a touch more rich maybe a little bit more nourishment to this one but it is still actually a medium weight cream it's not really thick and heavy actually it's a really nice kind of in-between type of texture when i first tried this out it was like towards the end of august <laughs> It's super hot, right? I'm a lot more oily in the summertime. And so when I was using this, I really liked it, but it was leaving a little bit of a finish, just a little bit of a shine on top of my skin. I'm not gonna lie, it did, right? There's a little shininess to it. But when I started using this like in October, November, December, when the oil tends to uh, fade to the background a little bit and the dryness tends to come uh, more forward for me and my kind of combination skin, which is really fluctuates with the weather then I actually didn't get any shininess at the top of my skin. So um, this like worked well. If you're a little bit more on the dry side combination wise, you'll really like this. If you have like true dry skin, I think you will like this as well. Just know it's not super occlusive. This is just occlusive enough to fight dehydration, but I know some dry skin types like super occlusivity. This probably doesn't provide that, honestly, but like I said, this is a nice in-between medium type of texture. Um, and especially if you do kind of like walk that line between a little bit of oil and a little bit of dryness on your skin, I think you'll like this one. Speaking of Illy Hyun, it's empty. Another one. This, these are huge. These take forever to empty. This is 200 mil of product. They do sell uh, smaller ones. But yeah, this is a huge moisturizer. I do think there's a little bit more in here, but I'm going to cut it open. I wanted it to be intact on camera for the empties video, but I'm going to cut it open and scoop out the rest because you know I love this so much. Yeah, this is really one of my, my top favorite moisturizers. Ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, and kind of like the um, Pyongyang Yule Cream, medium weight, absorbs into the skin, moisturizes inside of the skin, really gets down to the source, but it does not not at all not even when you're oily this just does not have a, sh a finish to it at all for me at least uh, it's just great i love it i've talked about it so much you know i haven't been talking about it a lot recently because it's it's been getting empty for a long time i nursed this one too and i just kind of started to focus on some of my other moisturizers which is why i have so many empties in this video but just so you know in case you're like hmm why isn't she using this anymore no specific reason other than I just I'm trying to not waste my other products. Innisfree Green Tea Probiotics Cream. This is another Ceramides Cholesterol Fatty Acids Cream. And I really like this cream. It's got a very different texture um, than the Iliune and the Pyongyang Yule Cream. It's actually lighter. Um, in feel on the skin, but it's actually more occlusive. It's got more of a protective feeling to it while still being lighter. And it's not one that has a, a nourishment or a richness to it. It actually just moisturizes and protects, but it doesn't do it in <laughs> this kind of way. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't have that richness to it, that slip. This is another one that's kind of tricky. You know, not every um, not every store that has Innisfree will have this product. It's really not as popular as I really believe it should be, but if you can find it, it's very, very nice. Cosrx Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Overnight Mask. I am not even going to tell you how long I've had this. <laughs> Way too long, and I'm so glad that I, I finally have used the very last drop of this one. Um, yeah, I'm a really big fan of this product, but you know what? I think that this particular product has actually been discontinued like just recently from Cosrx. But don't worry, because I think they've really kind of enhanced it and repackaged it because it the packaging looks different it's still under the same name but they have actually you guys added freaking honey to the list 
finally it's really basically the exact same formula but there's some honey in there like have they been watching my videos I've been talking about this I've been slamming this product for so many years because it's called a honey mask but there was no honey in it it's propolis it is um 87% of propolis in here and you know I love propolis so I have no problem with that but it's just like that that like that marketing it's just like there's no honey in here though stop saying that propolis is honey because it's not so I realized a couple of months ago um that I never share my curology empties in my uh empties video and I have no idea why um I just for some reason when I'm done with the bottle I don't put it in my empties basket I just I recycle it right away I don't know why I think it might be just the mentality of like you know, I have the one bottle and then I get the new one in the mail and I just take this out and replace it. And so I don't save the bottle. I have no idea. So I made an effort this time to save my empty so that I could share this with you because I've been using Curology for over a year straight now. I definitely am using this. Um, so I recently bumped up my prescription. So the bottles here are tretinoin 0.02%, but I just bumped up um, for my next, this, this last bottle that I got is 0.035%. And I'm really surprised my skin took to the bump up in tretinoin like really easily. I was like prepared for the worst. I was so ready for my skin to get really dry and irritated and it just really didn't. So I've been doing really well with the new prescription. I've been happy with it. And um, yeah, I'm definitely going to continue to use it. The one thing I want to say about Curology though, and those of you who have used it probably have noticed this too. Um, so I'm on the two month plan. So there's more cream in here than would last. Like, like there's more than two months worth of cream in here, but you really do have to replace the bottle after two months because I've noticed this. I noticed it with my tretinoin prescription and I noticed it when I used Curology back in 2016. After the two month period, the like potency decreases like it doesn't work on your skin as well as it used to i think it's because there's not like a lot of preservatives in this cream i don't think that it has a very long shelf life it's very fresh and it's really only made to last for two months and after two months i think it just loses its strength um and of course i'm sure they want you to keep like um, getting your bottle every two months because you do have the option to, to push your shipments off and you only pay when it ships and I've done that when I'm like I don't want to pay the $40 I'm, I've still got cream like let me just push it off a couple of weeks right and I definitely have noticed that the cream just doesn't work as effectively after the two months which whatever it's fine I just thought I'd say it because it's like sometimes you think you're crazy you're like, is my cream not working as well as the fresh bottle? But no, you, it, it's not just in your head. I, I really think that it does lose potency after the two months. And finally, some hair care products. So um, I have been dedicated to the Shiseido Subaki Extra Moist Shampoo and Conditioner. I think I started using this in 2014 or 2015. I'm pretty sure because it's actually I remember picking this up around the time the first time I went blonde <laughs> and this really whips my hair into shape really quickly and I had just been loyal to it ever since. They've actually recently changed the packaging and my cheap not cheap my money saving self um, actually would just buy the refills of um, they just, I guess they kind of renamed it to the Subaki Extra Moist Premium um, is, is the kind of renewal that they've done on it. But I just would buy the refills and then just refill the old bottles because I didn't want to buy the, the new set. I did finally buy the set of the new Square bottles. Um, but yes, I've been using the new formula in the old bottle. So I finally decided to retire these. That's what I love about this shampoo too. You just refill it. You just buy the refills. They're a lot more economical. And then you don't end up with having to put these pumps because you can't recycle the pumps. Um, you don't have to put these pumps in the landfill. You just kind of keep reusing the same packaging, which is great. And you can see they've held up for a very long time. Another one that I always go for is the Oshima Subaki oil. This is 100% Subaki or Camellia oil. And I really love this uh, right after I get out of the shower and I've kind of like, you know, 
gotten the majority of the like drippy wetness out of my hair then I'll add this onto my damp hair and this is so good for keeping your hair super strong and healthy you know I have used like hair serums um, from mise-en-scene and Lador and I do like those too but I have to tell you there's something about using just the 100% Subaki oil on my hair that has really made a huge difference in the shininess and the strength of my hair whereas the hair serums tend to just coat my hair it makes it look nice this actually makes the like the integrity of my hair feel strong and feel nice and look nice I don't know I just feel like the oil has done more for my hair than the serums have so I've gone through a few bottles of this um, and I'm a really big fan you can also use this so many different ways you can use this on your face on your hands it's just regular old oil it just happens to be particularly good for hair and another kind of long time favorite I like to throw like one or two of these into my empties um, just so that I can share it with you because I really believe in this product it's the Lador perfect fill up ampule I've talked about this before like almost every I've only made a few hair care videos but every hair care video I've talked about this this is a specialized treatment um, that you do like I do it like once a month if I remember <laughs> once every two months um, and this is great it's just a hair pack that you mix up yourself so you empty this vial um, into a container fill this vial up with just plain old water and then empty it there so a one-to-one -one ratio mix it up it becomes this gorgeous like conditioning hair pack leave that out for like 20 minutes rinse it out and your hair is gonna look so shiny so soft so manageable so good um, it's a really nice treatment like I said like once a month once every two months it's a it's an occasional type of thing but it makes your hair um, look really great and really I think it helps in the long run with like just hair health Ooh! after every empties video I say ooh, because it's like it's so much fun I, I love filming them it's so great but it is like so many products it's like epic marathon reviewing for me but it feels great um and it always feels good to get these all into the recycling bin as well and i'm all empty and i'm ready to start collecting more for the next video so um i do want to know have you emptied anything recently and tell me like your mini review is it good is it bad is it in between let me know in the comment box below if you love the video but you're not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel it means a lot to me and i do make two uh, skincare focused videos every single week turn on the notifications so you don't miss when I post the new videos I hope you guys are having a fantastic day I can't wait to see you in the next video I hope you are healthy happy and safe and I'll talk to you soon bye <music>